Okay, so we're continuing with the chapter on diagonalization, and now we're actually having taken a detour through eigenvalues and eigenvectors, we're actually getting to actual diagonalization. Okay. So that's yeah. Okay. All right. A matrix is diagonalizable if and only if it has n linearly independent eigenvectors. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, because then they're going to make a, a basis for Rn, right? For any square, a matrix, n independent, a matrix, it should be a n by n matrix, of course. Okay. For any square matrix A, any matrix P, whose columns are eigenvectors of A, and associated D, a diagonal matrix with corresponding eigenvalues as, as entries, that satisfies AP equals PD. And now if A is diagonalizable, if it, i.e. if it has n nearly independent eigenvectors, then P can be chosen to be invertible, okay? And then you can, you can, so, you know, there's some choice in what P is, because it's columns of eigenvectors, you can choose different eigenvectors, but if it's got n, n nearly independent eigenvectors, you can choose those n linearly independent eigenvectors of the columns, and then P will be invertible, and you can times both sides of this equation by the inverse of P on the left-hand side, and you get P inverse AP equals D. And so this is now we've diagonalized A into the matrix D, effectively. Okay. Let's have a, pr a proof of this uh, theorem. Let P be a matrix of eigenvectors, i.e. P is this, so it's columns, this, this notation means that you have this matrix P, and it's columns, each column is, first column is V1, second column is V2, nth column is Vn, okay? And D, a diagonal matrix of the corresponding eigenvalues. So lambda 1 corresponds to V1, lambda 2 corresponds to V2, all the way to lambda n. And these eigenvalues, they don't have to be distinct, right? We just have to have these being independent. Remember that if these are all distinct, then automatically these are independent, but sometimes these can be, some of these can be the same, and yet, you can, you, yet the eigenspace for the, does have enough dimensions, the geometric multiplicity equals the algebraic multiplicity, and then you can still choose, you still get the n independent eigenvectors. Uh, the important thing is to get the n independent eigenvectors, okay? Now, the kth column of AP on the left-hand side of the equation, 4.2, is simply AVK, they say. So in this thing here, so they're looking at this equation here, and they're looking at what is the kth column of this equation. So that equation, without what we've written down for what P is, would be A times, and now P has got its columns being, its columns being the eigenvectors, okay? And now, what does that become? If you, you times, oh, of course, well, when you multiply a matrix by, a, by a, um, multiply a matrix by a matrix, the columns become multiplied like this, right? Okay. Yes, because effectively it's multiplying, when you multiply a matrix by a matrix, it's like, you look at the columns of the second matrix and you multiply, you get the columns of the new matrix by multiplying the, the matrix by each column individually, okay? So that's what it's saying. It's saying that the kth column of the thing on the left is just AVK. Okay, here we have AVK, AV1, AV2, right? What On the right-hand side, PD, okay, we have, now we have here, we have V1, V2, Vn times the matrix D, Okay, but D is the diagonal matrix with the, the eigen, corresponding eigenvectors on the diagonal and zeros elsewhere. It's called a big zero, meaning all the, all the edges of the diagonal are zero, instead of writing out each, individu each zero individually. Okay, and now if you do this, so the first column of the, res so the, first column of the result, the resultant matrix, is going to be what? When you do, it's going to be this matrix times by the first column of this, okay? But when you multiply, when you multiply a matrix by a vector, where the vector in question is the first column of this, it's just a scalar, it's just a linear combination of 
a linear combination of the columns with the weights being the components of the vector. And here, in this first vector, lambda 1, the first entry is lambda 1, all the other entries in that column are 0, so you just get lambda 1, v1. And for the second entry, you have like 0, then lambda 2, then 0, so you just get lambda 2 times v2. You get 0 times v1, you get 0 times v1 plus lambda 2 times v2 plus 0 times v3, blah, 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 right? And so you carry on, you end up with lambda, with lambda nvn. Okay, uh, so that's what it's saying here. The kth column of the product PD on the right-hand side is lambda kvk. Okay, so in other words, the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side because v1 is an eigenvector of A with eigenvalue lambda 1, right? So we are assuming that we have the matrix, we're assuming that v1 to vn are eigenvectors, and we prove that if that's the case, and you make this matrix P like this out of the eigenvectors, and you make this matrix D like this out of the eigenvalues, we've proven that that's the case, AP equals PD. Okay. So, we've, we've, so in this theorem here, we've got to proving this. Now we have to prove this little bit. Okay? Now, if A is diagonalizable, the eigenvectors V1... This note actually more applies to, to, to that bit, not to this next bit. So we, we actually did, we did do the calculation, the product, so we found it. Now, if A is diagonalizable, the eigenvectors V1, V2 to Vn can be chosen to form a linearly independent set. Okay, right. This is the definition of diagonalizable. Um, the matrix is diagonalizable if it has n linearly independent eigenvectors. Okay, so we've had n independent eigenvectors, so then the v1 to vn can be n independent, like it can be all be linearly independent. Okay, but that makes p invertible because if you have independent matrix with in linearly independent columns, all its columns are linearly independent, it's squared, then it's invertible. So you can invert it with the inverse score is p minus 1, and then you multiply on both sides by p minus 1, and you get this thing. Okay, diagonalized. Okay, I think I will leave doing an example to the next video.